Hello my quilting friends! Leah Day here with a new Sit Down Quilting Sunday video. I'm really feeling this fall season. I've got my fall scarf on and I really want to celebrate with a cool fall themed design. I'm thinking pumpkins. So let's learn how to quilt pumpkin patch together. So I'm getting started with pumpkin patch and this is such a fun freeform design and it starts with some loopy line. So it's just a wiggly line with occasional loops and now I'm going to form a pumpkin shape. So the first thing I do is form an oval shape, swing around, and I find that the, the wider oval shape really looks good. So that's what I start with. And then now I start bouncing back and forth to fill that pumpkin shape with arches. So I'm just bouncing from the top around to the bottom, just curving that slowly around so that way it forms a nice smooth arching shape. And you can see how it just kind of slowly becomes, fills up that area completely and it ends up looking like a pumpkin. So now I'm gonna stitch a little leaf shape here just finish it off, make it really whimsical. And then now I'll loop off. I'm just gonna stitch more loopy line, wiggling around in all directions. And this is the line that really connects things together. It's what's going to fill up the background space. So that way you can fill it consistently. The one thing about it is obviously your pumpkins are gonna stand out pretty boldly on the surface of your quilt. So that might be something you wanna think about and kind of think about the placement of how that's gonna work. Personally, I don't worry about it too much, but I had a student in class once, you know, feel a little concerned about maybe the pumpkins not being consistent or them being like polka dotted, I don't know. It, it was one of those things that I kind of thought about it and I thought, well, you could always mark them. You could, you know, put quarters down on your quilt and plan where all of the pumpkins go and that would work out pretty good. So I'm gonna form another pumpkin shape here. Form those arch shapes, just careful stitching. Now you can bounce back and forth going in one direction or you can kind of make it a circle like I'm stitching right now. It really doesn't matter, just whatever works for you. Just nice, even filling, and then branch out with a cute little leaf shape. I just think that, that really finishes off for me for some reason. And then now I'm gonna loop my way out of there. The nice thing about loopy line is it allows you to escape from all of those tricky spaces. And it's very much like stippling in that way where it can, you can kind of sneak in and sneak back out again with loopy line. Now this is one of those things that I, how I space my pumpkins and I'm always looking at it is I kind of look at my loopy line and I surround the pumpkin with the loopy line and then I know, hey, it's about time to stitch another pumpkin. So I'll put one in here right on the edge. So form that pumpkin shape and then art shape heart shape. Sometimes I'll go bounce, bounce, bounce. So I'll bounce, 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 and bounce. There we go. It really, it's really those funny things, you know, how you think through a design and make it work in your brain, it's different for everybody. So you would really just have to think about it, focus on what works for you, and just keep on going. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to quilt a little pumpkin patch. I stitched out my design and framed it in this little hoop quilt. So it's a fun little way to stitch out a creative design, challenge yourself, learn something new about machine quilting, and then have a cool decoration that you can hang on your wall. So definitely tune in next week. I've got another fun, creepy fall design. So you'll definitely want to check that out. Remember that you can find tools and materials, books and supplies, as well as online quilting classes with me at leahday.com. Come and check out our website. It really helps support me and keep us creating new videos every week. Now, if you're interested in the sewing machine that I was quilting on, this is a long arm quilting machine called the Grace Cunique 14 Plus. You can learn more about it at leahday.com slash grace. And we set up a little discount with Grace Company. If you live in the United States and you call Grace Company, you gotta say, hello, my quilting friends, and they'll give you a good discount on your machine. So definitely go and check that out. And until next time, let's go quilt.